What does the future hold for our mouths? Philosophers have asked the question since the dawn of human time, and yet food has failed to keep up with other scientific advances in areas like smartphones, the World Wide Web, and those flying hosey horsey thingies on YouTube. The last great leap forward I can remember in food was the Gogurt back in 99. And that was more an innovation in food delivery than food itself. Meanwhile, we don't have anything like the pill from the Jetsons that gives you all your nutrients in one go, or those tiny growing pizzas from Back to the Future 2, or my personal favorite from the fifth element, that microwave wave that turns dust into Boston Market. Where's my magical Boston Market? Huh, science? Hello? That's what people from Boston sound like to me. Lucky for us, science has an answer. Here are the top three future foods that'll make eating more convenient for you and more sustainable for Mother Gaia. Green screen. Number one is lab meat. But before I explain that, let's talk about meat eating in general. Being a participant in nature, especially a meat consuming one, is brutal. In my life, I will consume billions of life forms, big and small. Also, I can do things like take online quizzes to find out what Little Mermaid character I am. For the record, I got Ariel and then the evil eel the second time around. So why haven't I stopped eating meat? It's more nutritious for an active person. It's easier, more available, more efficient. It's delicious and everyone's doing it, man. Now what future food could save the day and solve this moral conundrum? for me. Maybe a little lab meat. Remember that one? And just to be clear, I'm talking about laboratory grown meat, not Labrador meat. For some reason, I feel like I need to make that distinction online. Here's where we are with lab grown meat. The first burger produced using only fetal pig blood, which still sounds kind of bad, cost about $350,000 and tasted something like a weird Boca burger. But since then, Prices have dropped to about $11 a patty. And maybe they taste like a slightly better Boca burger now, like a Southwest. But just to be clear, we are growing meat that never experienced suffering or consciousness right now. But good luck convincing people it's safe or desirable in the near term. On to number two, Soylent, or as I call it, hipster milk. Soylent is the invention of two Silicon Valley startup guys who got too lazy to eat. So they invented a drink that could cover all their nutritional bases because eating is the ultimate first world problem. And yet there's even more potential for a product like this in the developing world, where it can be used as an emergency response to hunger and malnutrition. The downside? A recent independent analysis revealed that the brown rice protein in Soylent had high levels of lead. That's not such a big deal if you're using it as an occasional meal replacement, but if you're using it all day every day like Soylent claims you can, you might get brain damage. Then again, our grandparents drank out of lead pipes covered in lead paint while using lead pencils, and they turned out great. My grandma thinks I'm her husband, but she doesn't look a day over 87. Number three, D, printed food, the 3D printed food. I still don't believe this is a real thing, despite a thousand articles claiming it is. Apparently there are people right now putting ingredients into a printer and then printing stuffed ravioli. It's enough to make your heart skip a beat. But that's not the only good thing about printing food. In the US, we have a huge food waste problem. 25 to 40% of our food ends up in landfills. But if food came prepackaged and all you had to do is press a button, you'd be less likely to overdo it. And the food wouldn't have to travel as far. And you might eat a healthier diet too, full of things like Soylent and lab meat. As cool as that sounds though, it's hard to imagine people opting into this when prepared food is already so abundant and convenient. For now, this is just an easy bake oven for rich nerds, but who knows? Maybe it's not too long until we're downloading recipes off the internet, having them dropped off by drones and then reliving that fifth element Boston market moment like every day. Mom? That's just how you guys sound to me. I'm sorry. So what do you think about lab meat, hipster milk, and printer food? Is it all just trendy nonsense or can these things actually help people? Chime in on Twitter or in the comments. Thank you.